at 700 pounds over the legal limit. They sent me off to the wolves. What? Is he how under the how sheets again? How did Kylie get under the sheets? That is so funny. How does he do this? Look at this. Hey, Boo! He's under the sheets. How, how do you get under there? I Crazy boy. Whoa. Let's go. <laughs> A crazy boy. Bigaboo. Bigaboo. Can we, can we can go get some candy from Q and T's? No, we're not gonna get candy from Q and T's. We'll get some uh, waffles and stuff from um, Coach House. Pizza. Ooh, good jump. What are you drawing, dude? So that's the, so this is you. Oh, wow. That that that's your hair. Oh, I have hair now. Cool. That's baby Kai. Okay, he's got green hair too. Uh, he's sleeping. Oh. That's me. Right. That's Kason. That's Mama. And Kason found gold. Oh wow! So let's talk about um, games that shippers can play, customers can play. When I booked this load yesterday, um, there was two of them up, both the same pounds, um, thirty thousand pounds going up to, to Philly. So. The truck's already started because my my youngest son wanted me to let him start it, so he did. Anyways, um, when I get there, or I try to look at the, look back up the load for the second load just to get like a price because they're offering it for twenty one hundred, <clears throat> and it was gone. There's a reason why. If you caught the live feed last night, it took him forever to load me, and when it finally finished, I said, "Well, uh, well they were apologetic. They're like, sorry, man, we had to." Took it, we put it all on, they made it take it all off, relabel it, and put it back on. They called us and told us to do that. And I said, uh, okay. And then I noticed on the bill of lading, uh, it said 30 count, 30,000 pounds. They crossed that out and they crossed out, they didn't cross out 30,000 pounds, but they crossed out the um, 30, 30 count and they put 42. So what they did, I believe, is they combined those two loads onto one trailer. So I'm gonna go get scaled right now because once I pulled out of that place, it felt like a lot more than 30,000 pounds. Let's check to confirm. And if you do, this is what you do when that happens. Back at exit 60, the Pete store, BMW factory. Michelin has a big place down here on the right. And uh, that's where I got that red race truck tuned. My kids call it the 97 Chevrolet Silverado. I don't have a Pete up there. There's a platform right there. Usually I have one of them up there. But uh, yeah, you, typically my truck weighs about 33,500 pounds empty. Doesn't matter, depends on how much fuel I have in it. I mean, like uh, my truck, my trailer's empty. So those two sitting on the scale by themselves, 33,500 pounds. So we should be at about 60,500 right now if this BOL was true with the uh, uh, $30,000, 30,000 pounds of weight, which is what it said when I booked it. So only reason it's a little bit of a concern, of course, is less fuel. Uh, that you're using if it stays at the way it was supposed to be or not over. And also, it just with wear and tear your truck, if I'm going to run Fancy Gap right now up, uh, the extra 12,000 pounds or 15,000 pounds is a bit of wear and tear in your truck. So I don't know what he's doing. We can go after the red and see if uh, try not to hit the curb if they just filled in nicely with some extra uh, asphalt. After this forward, if he's not creeping forward, I'm going to go for it. Yeah, he's going to go. I'm going to let him go ahead and take that lane just so I don't get in his way. Meridian Brick, right? And we are barely missing this curve. Okay, we'll go down. Miss the curve, miss the curve. There you go. Let's go get the scale and see what we weigh in at. We should be 60,005 right around there. Oh my goodness. We're gonna go this way because the scale is back here on the left. It's, well, it's kind of like over to the right. And then after we scale, we gotta get some fuel. Hey, there's a windshield guy right there. I should ask him if he uh, can do my W9 uh, windows up top. Because now that I have progressive, I have full last coverage for free. Something about South Carolina, it's uh, 
different states have different laws, but you cannot have a like a cracked windshield in South Carolina. It's, uh, un, 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 un we guess use we can't see through it. Well, what are you doing here, Mister? You just turn around. Anyways, they, they like have to fix it so the uh, insurance takes care of it. And the scale, somebody just went through it. He's probably getting his ticket, or maybe he's, I don't know what he's doing. Unless you don't want it. All right, he's just turned his lights on. He's probably getting out of here. But we need fuel, and we need a little bit of a weight ticket to see what we got, because you get to know your truck. You can tell when there's 10,000 pounds. You can tell when there's 20,000, 30,000, and 40,000, so. Same thing as the scales uh, by the weight station. You want to go ahead and uh, stop gently on them. We're all the way on. Morning, welcome to TC. First way or are you at? First way. Company name? Uh, RMT. Truck number? 88. Carry that number. 531-446. I got y'all set so heavy a little bit. All right, thanks, man. So this is what they did last night. It's supposed to be 30,000 pounds. They took up, they took the whole trailer off, said they had to relabel everything, and went to 42 instead of 30 pallets. So let's see what that weighs. Before we do that though, I want to check out this windshield going in. There we go. Brand new windshield. Now well, that's roadside service right there. Windshield going in. Do you know if you do like the top sleeper windows of like a W9, can you get those? Mine are both cracked. <laughs> I just wonder, do you work for yourself? Do you work for like Safe Light or who you work for? I work for Fast Class. Fast Class? This year, yeah. Um, it'll be dealer park. Okay. Because um, I have progressive insurance on zero, zero glass, or they pay for my glass. That's good. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, we did some those. Cool. Let me get your number, your card. I run a YouTube channel, so I'm just kind of filming, letting people know that stuff is replaceable if you can get it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I live right there in Simpsonville. Sweet, man. Thank you. You'd be on YouTube. And I like watching windshields go in. You got a bunch of them, huh? If you got, he just said, hey, can you come here? And you said, out of service one, we'll use it? Yeah. Use the bay. Awesome, dude. What was your name? Matthew. Matthew, nice meeting you. Get a handshake on the camera. Take care, bro. Good job, man. Thank you. So yeah, if you need a windshield out here in Greenville, check him out. And he said, yeah, we can do your, uh, you go ahead and do your W9 windows. There we go. We're fueling up. And let's go see what our weight is. Let's see if we got big problems today or if we have no problems. Thanks for fueling. Let's get in here. And I thought I heard him say something like, seems a little heavy. I hope not. Yikes. Pump down. I think I ripped off hard. Take the pumps out of your tanks, guys. How are we doing, man? Mine. Is this the head trying? Is this the RMT ticket? I think. Scan ticket? Yep. Yep. 1250. Look at that right there, guys. Oh, yeah. I knew it was, I knew because it was supposed to be 30,000 pounds. I knew it was heavy. So we're going to have to go back to the shipper. Not a good day. Great. Wow, guys. So, the moral of the story on this one know your weights, know your worth, know your weights. If your truck fill, you can tell when it's just it's pulling heavy and it should be 30,000 which should be pretty heavy but when I'm at 80,680 that's 700 pounds over the legal limit they sent me off to the wolves I'm gonna hit what three two scales in North Carolina two scales in Virginia and then scales in Pennsylvania Maryland West Virginia and PA so no way not one of those scales would have been like hey man what are you doing with 680 pounds over you get a 450 pound credit for your apu if it's working but even with that i'm still what 230 pounds over and this is not the broker's fault this is that shipper's fault that customer's fault and just those guys at the dog last night i knew something was wrong when i felt like that forklift went in and out of my trailer like 
way more than I've ever had a forklift go into that trailer. Either they were taking tiny pallets on or something was going on. So they told me when I came out last night and I walked to the back of my truck, um, they had the paperwork ready. I said, hey man, sorry, uh, we load the whole trailer and then they called us. With they, meaning the, the higher ups, the shipping department was ever in charge of shipping for IVC, International Vitamins uh, Corporation. And he said, hey, unload the whole trailer, relabel it, and load it all again. So what they did was they combined two loads as best they could and loaded me to the max. And I'm 700 pounds overweight now. That hurts my CSA score if I get hit on, on the scales. That hurts my insurance, hurts everything about me. So it just shows you, you gotta watch out for yourself out here. And uh, we're heading right back to that shipper. We're gonna tell him to take off a third of the trailer and we'll deliver this still, it'll be on time tomorrow morning. But um, it's just it's this kind of stuff that kills you. 642 today. We were pretty low though. 294 gallon. Let's get that ticket paid for and uh, head back to the shipper. Here we are back at the shipper. Well, the exit to the shipper. And the poor guy back there, T's and P's, I couldn't uh, get it on camera, but his whole uh, right front tire came off the hump. Just let it go, so keep up on your maintenance, guys. We are gonna go ahead and come around here, go under the bridge, take another ride at QT, and then come back to IBC. And uh, it's unfortunate, but my broker, I don't know if it's just bad timing or not, but I called him a couple times, my, my C.H. Robinson buddy. And I said, I need a thousand dollars more for this because now I should already be through Charlotte right now, heading up 77, going up to Fancy Gap. Now I'm all the way coming back here, eight, a thousand, almost a thousand pounds overweight to get my truck worked right again. Who knows how long it's going to take them to work it, what they're going to do to get the extra 12 pallets off that shouldn't be on there. So I'm actually what my weight should be. But he didn't answer. Then the second time I called him, he didn't answer. Um, and then he just texted me and said, Hey, uh, my wife's anniversary was yesterday. I'm taking the day off. So I said, okay. Uh, I feel like there should be better. I, I like him. He's a good guy, but I feel like there should be better customer service to that. Maybe he doesn't like the whole thousand dollar thing, um, but that's what you should be. Know your worth. Know your weight, know your worth. That's going to be the title of this video. If it's this big of a hassle and they're putting your CSA score at risk like that, that shipper needs to be held responsible. That, that customer rep needs to be held responsible. You can't just do that. You can't just add two loads together. Uh, to just get it up there to where you need to go. You, you stick with the original 30,000 pounds. If you want to go more on the weight, you pay more money. You don't go overweight though, just to load the trailer as maximum as you can and say, good luck carrier, one truck operation. I don't care about your family, anything else. Here's an extra thousand pounds. I hope you can make it up to Philadelphia. That's not how it works. So that to make sure that doesn't happen again, you need to keep, hold these people accountable. It's not the broker's fault. I'm not saying it's my buddy's fault. I know he doesn't want to throw the extra thousand out there or talk to the customer rep right now. Maybe it is. He really is just enjoying his day off with his wife. I understand that. Just unfortunate timing that I'm about to come back to the shipper and I don't have my point of contact to help me get this figured out. So now I'm gonna call up Seth Robinson and most likely be on hold for a bit trying to get this figured out. Um, I'll just tell him I'm not leaving the, the shipper until they have that extra thousand on the Raycon for this debacle of what they did. No big, no big. We'll get it figured out. Right now we're turning right. J.O. Mann High School is right here. Pretty nice high school in Greenville. Um, my buddy from CDL school actually went there. So we'll figure this out. Which might take some time, might take some jumping through hoops. But we'll get it right. In the words of the late and great DMX, here we go again. My goodness. Now we're just praying that they're not on lunch break because it's 1230. Be able to rework this trailer while we're on C.H. Robinson phone calls. Trying to get somebody who's going to be able to uh, figure this out. Oh yeah. At least there's one truck already here, so hopefully they're working. How you doing, man? Hey, how you doing? How you doing, man? Last night. What? Remember from last night? Yeah. The guy that got reworked, or you guys loaded it and then unloaded it. Holy shit! Overweight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how much? Good old thousand pounds, seven hundred and sixty. I would have got a CSA score, out of service, been in big trouble. Holy shit. Yeah. So we're gonna have to go back to because the original Raycon was thirty thousand pounds, thirty pallets. So 
I mean, they must have added 12 because there was originally two loads. They probably tried to combine them. Did like, somebody call you from your shipping department or what happened? Like, who called you in the middle of the load and said, Yeah. Somebody said, Hey, load them up as much as you can? Well, no, we had, I just had to label it, but the, the other load went out today and it was, it was packed down too. But really? Like, All the way? Quite this much, yeah. That much better? Uh, he might I be over. I don't know if it was this much. That much way. Yeah, I, I had a few more lighter pellets. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was, that was loaded down. And I could tell right when I left out last night, I was like, This feels really heavy. It was, it was only in the middle too because i had the lighter pellets on, on front and back end. yeah yeah well we need to rework that if they want that back to philly because rework I, it to thirty thousand. i mean take off a third of the trailer i guess because it was originally raycon that i have was thirty thousand pounds and i'm at dang forty four thousand right now <laughs> all right i'm gonna go talk to my brother okay thank you Boom. <laughs> All right, door 21. Let's get reworked. Gotta break this seal. My goodness. So we'll see what they're gonna do. But I told them let's get back to the original 30,000 um, pounds. And then I have to call. Looks like I can uh, get to the superior of my buddy from C.H. Robinson and talk to her. Her name's Melinda. And see uh, what we can do here. Yeah. Door 21. It's load number 36400-8055. Okay, let me just take a look here. Can I also have the name of your company and your name as well? Yeah, RMT Freight and my company's, uh, or uh, Justin Leviser, sorry. <laughs> Justin Leviser, okay. Let me just take a look here. I think I may have misheard that load number, sir. I do apologize. Did you say 36300-8055? Only number you're missing is 364. 364, I see. My yeah, no worries. Yep, I do see RMT Freight and I do see you here, Justin. So what was going on with this load today? Okay, so I booked it yesterday. Uh, went down here to pick it up. Uh, we're supposed to be 30,000 pounds. Uh, they took them about four hours to load it, so we had detention on it. And then I got loaded, got my paperwork, and they had scratched out 30 pallets and wrote in 42, but the weight was still 30,000. Then I took off from the dock and I realized this is really heavy. Like you can tell when your truck's heavy. I was like, my truck is extremely heavy right now. And uh, went and got it scaled this morning before I headed up to Philadelphia. And I'm a thousand pounds of most overweight. I see. Okay. Yeah. No problem. So if there was an issue with the overloaded the truck, we'd be more than happy to have a look into this and see what we can do for you right about. Can I connect you to the representative I've got on this load? The representative, our, Nick, Nick is a. Uh, out of the office today he's on anniversary so i he told me to call you guys okay, so is no melinda problem. melinda available by any chance or can i have her phone number and extension let me see here well i have melanie melanie looper she should be available right now and i have her direct extension and number here yeah she's the manager for that office yeah great let me uh let me put down my phone real quick and get a piece of paper and a pen okay so you heard those two conversations what i did there is i called the uh, I had um, the phone number for Melanie before, but I lost it. It was on a, um, when I do my insurance, I had it because I was trying to escalate it to get it taken care of. But I threw away the envelope that I wrote the number on. So I called the C.H. Robinson main number, waited on hold for about seven, eight minutes. Finally got John, who was really nice talking to him, man. And then he, he said, I'll get you the rep. I told him my rep's on uh, out of the office today. Please give me uh, the, uh, the main office, which I had the number before, but now I saved it. So then he gave me that number. I called, uh, hung up on the first time. Second time, I just went to just blank, hung up on. Uh, but the first time, like, someone answered and then hung up. Second time, I just went to beep, 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 you know, or just get a loose connection. Third time, Cameron uh, answered the phone, who's kind of the um, apprentice for my buddy. So uh, he already knew the situation. He said, yeah, and then he said, she's out of the office. So I said, okay, <laughs> I guess everyone's out of the office on Tuesday. And uh, he says, working on it, checking it out. And I just said, I'll take the load back to my house. And once you guys give me the update of Raycon, um, I'll deliver it. So that's what you got to do. It's a waste of your time. It ruins your clock. So there's no way I'm making it up there. Um, I have to reset my clock again to get up there. So that's what you got to do. But that's, I hope this helps somebody in that situation kind of understand what you got to do. It's, it's, uh, if it's your own truck and your own carrier, you didn't drop the ball. Somebody that was in the shipping office said, hey, load this thing as much as you can when it was really supposed to be 30,000 pounds and then they just rode in there 42. So um, know your worth and know your weight, moral of this story. And uh, we'll see how the day ends up. So I am back here at the QT again. We are gonna go ahead and take one of these parking spots. 
and head home because uh, we're not moving till that Raycon comes in. So God bless y'all. Thanks for stopping in today. Sorry, it's a shorter video, but uh, I didn't expect to be what 80,000 pounds or a thousand pounds overweight without having fuel in the truck. So that 80,000, uh, oh, there's a guy pulling behind me. Go ahead, buddy. 80,600 or 680 was without fuel. I had minuscule fuel in the truck, like 30 gallons, 25 gallons. So we got that fuel weight, we're over 81,000 pounds. Crazy. So we'll uh, wait for my uh, buddy at Safe Robinson to get us that new rake on, and then we'll get this delivered to Philly. But not moving the truck until that Raycon comes. That's what you gotta do. All right, guys, God bless you. Please check out JustTrucking.shop. I promise we got new shirts coming out. We already have them. We got uh, all kinds of stuff going on for the merchandise side of things, but uh, I just haven't had time to do a video. <clears throat> I'm trying to get a good couple of vacations in before my son goes to school. And that truck's even being given away in December, so we gotta get all this stuff, because these, truck, these uh, shirts have to do with that truck I'm giving away in December, the 97 Silverado with a five-speed manual and an LS1 engine with a stage three cam. All right, check it out. God bless you guys, and we'll hopefully see you tomorrow.